the symbol plus we have many vocabulary that can be used for addition so we have add more plus some make total all together when we are reading addition we use plus so plus is used when we are reading addition so if you are solving a question and you see sum, sum means plus. If you see more, more means plus. If you see add, it also means plus. So we are going to look at some example on how to use addition as a vocabulary in solving problems. So firstly, we have this, how to read question with addition. So how can we read question with addition? If we look at this question, we have 12A plus 13A plus 25A. So we use plus when we are reading addition. Now, what is the answer? Do you know the answer of 12A? plus 13a plus 25a 12a is just like 12 apple and 13a just like 13 apple plus 25 apple so if we have 12 apple plus 13 apple plus 25 apple so our answer will be 50 apple which is 50a okay so the first example that we are going to solve is given a given a is equals to 7 square and b is equals to 3 square find the sum of a and b so we can see this vocabulary sum So sum, if we see here, we have sum. So sum is the same as, for sum we use plus. So if we go back to our example, find the sum of A, find the sum of A and B. So if we want to find the sum of A and B, so we need to write our solution will be a plus b now what is a a is seven square seven square so we can read this as seven square now what is seven square seven square means seven times seven seven times seven is 49 and next we also have B B is 3 square so this is a so B is equal to 3 square so 3 square is 3 times 3 which is 9 so to have our solution a will be the same as a is the same as 49 and B is the same as 9 so a so we write 49 sum we use plus and B is 9 so our answer will be equals to 58 Since we are doing vocabulary, equal. So this is called equal. Equal. So if we move to the next example. Given. So example two, we have given the width of 
a rectangle is six centimeter so the width is six centimeter so we can write the width at once six centimeter given the width of a rectangle is six centimeter if the length is more if the length is more than so more than the width by four the length is more than the width by four the length is more than the width by four so if we are using the vocabulary for more if we go back to our vocabularies we are going to see that more we have to use plus so if we go back to our vocabulary for more more means plus so more means plus if the length if the length is more than the width more than the width by four so it means the length will be equals to six more so more we use plus four so the length is 10 centimeter then the question is calculate the area so what is area in time you check this with your dictionary what is area how do we calculate the area of a rectangle example if I have this rectangle and this is five and this is five and we have two if we want to calculate the area of this rectangle the area will be equal to five times two which is ten okay so the formula of area area the formula of area is equals to length times the width so length is our length is 10 centimeter and our width is 6 centimeter so we are going to have 10 centimeter times six centimeter so we know that 10 times 6 is equal to 60 and for the unit we are going we have centimeter times centimeter so this is centimeter square so our area is equals to 60 centimeters square is our answer our second operation is called subtraction so for subtractions in words problems you can see take away minus less subtract leave decrease difference between so when waiting subtraction we use minus so we are going to look at some example with word problem involving subtraction so the first one is uh, how can we with this so this can be read as 12 minus 25 so we use minus when we are waiting question of subtraction so what is the answer of 12 minus 25 
I guess most of you don't know the answer, right? So if we have 12 minus 25, firstly, let us look at this one. If I have 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, then if I have 2 minus 5, this will be equal to minus 3. You understand this more when we study integers in unit 2. So our answer here is minus 13. Minus 13 is our answer. So next, let's move to example 3. Example 3, find the difference between the perimeter. So you have to check this vocabulary. Perimeter, what does it mean in Thai? Find the difference between the perimeter of figure 1 and figure 2. Difference between. So difference between. Difference between. We have to use minus. Okay. So what is perimeter? The perimeter is the total distance around an object or a figure so for this we have a two-dimension figure so the perimeter is the total distance around this rectangle if we want to look for the perimeter of this here is three so here will be three as well if we have two here will be two so the perimeter of this is going to be 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 is the total distance around so this will give us 6 plus 4 which is 10 okay so if we want to look for the perimeter of 1 We need to look for the total distance around 1. So if here is 10 centimeter, we are going to have 10 centimeter. And 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter. So what is the total distance we are going to have? We have 210, so it's 2 times 10. Plus, we have 25 is... 2 times 5 so this is 20 plus 10 so this will give us 30 centimeter so the next for 2 we have the same yes yeah, 3 centimeter so we have 3 centimeter and yes yeah, 5 we also have 5 centimeter perimeter means the total distance so the total distance here will be We can also do it like this, 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. So this is 10 plus 6, which is 16. So we have 16 centimeters. So here we have 16 centimeters. So the question is find the difference between 1 and 2. This is 1 and 2. So the difference we need to use minus. So our answer will be equals to 14 centimeter. The question is division. For division, we can use these vocabularies. Quotient. Divide divided by share share equally equal group of divided into divisible by but for reading we use divided by so let us move to some example using this vocabulary
to read this this is the same as x divided by 2 equal 10 x divided by 2 is equal to 10 so how do we solve this we can write this as x divided by 2 equals to 10 this is easy if we rewrite this which number do we need to divide by 2 that will give us 10 so the number is 20 so our answer so it means x should be 20 so x is equal to 20 We are going to learn more of this when we'll be solving linear equation. So example four, find the quotient. So quotient means divide. Find the quotient between 12B and 3B. So find the quotient between 12B and 3B. So we have, sorry, we have 12b divided by 3b so how do we solve this imagine when we have 2 divided by 2 they cancel and we have 1 when we have 5 divided by 5 they cancel and we have 1 so if you have a divided by a they cancel out we have 1 so in this example b and b will cancel so we'll be left with 12 12 divided by 3 so our answer is 4 okay we move to the next so the last operation is multiplication and in this operation you are going to do one activity okay so for multiplication we can use multiply lot of times group of product multiple of away repeated addition okay when we are reading for multiplication when we read we use times with symbol this is the symbol of multiplication so you are going to do this activity so when solving this activity you can look for the vocabularies using your dictionary so you can look for the vocabulary of product what is product product in math is times so you are going to look for the vocabulary of area what is radius what is radius what is diameter so do this activity so thanks for listening i wish you a good day